Where mogul surprises Berkeley neighbours with an extravagant green mansion and we count down the top five eco-contradictions. This is Planet 100 Top 5. Welcome to Planet 100 Top 5, I'm Sarah Backhouse. Billionaire philanthropist Mitch Kapoor is proposing a 10,000 square foot green mansion, complete with 10 car garage. It's number five in our top five eco-contradictions. Termed an oxymoron by Huffington Post, Kapoor's hillside mansion qualifies as green under Berkeley building regulations, which rewards eco-conscious features as low flow shower heads and insulation. But local environmental groups have decried the green designation of any large hillside estate as absurd. In at number four, it's McDonald's Green. In an effort to go green, the fast food chain has rolled out a green backdrop for its famous golden arches in over a hundred restaurants across Europe. Despite some greener practices, including environmentally friendly refrigeration and converting used oil into biodiesel fuel, the foundation of McDonald's commercial success lies in unsustainably farmed meat, styrofoam containers and high fructose corn syrup. Auto Week calls the 3.4 tonne Escalade Hybrid a pretender acting the part of being efficient while sucking down a gallon of gas every 12 to 14 miles. It's number three in our top five eco-contradictions. While GM says the hybrid version improves the Escalade city gas mileage by up to 50%, critics of the world's first full-size luxury SUV argue the Escalade hybrid is putting lipstick on a pig. In at number two, it's Eco Barbie from the Barbie Because collection, which sees the impossibly proportioned plastic icon decked out in repurposed threads. Recycling other Barbie's hand-me-downs, Mattel says the doll is an eco-conscious girl's way to make an environmentally friendly fashion statement. Shame the plastic doll encased in plastic packaging can't herself be recycled. Our number one eco-contradiction is clean coal, which refers to the sequestration of CO2 associated with producing coal power. But even if this technology were in place, coal still wouldn't be clean. Why? Because without full-scale environmental policy reform, we'd still have unsustainable practices like mountaintop removal, which destroys ecosystems, or coal burning, which releases mercury, nitrogen oxides, and fine particulate matter into the air, killing thousands every year. And that's our top five eco-contradictions. What other oxymorons did we miss? Send us your favorite blatant examples or greenwashing pet peeves at our Planet Green YouTube page. We'll see you next week for more Planet 100.